blessings to everyone who's watching me right now. I have a good word of encouragement for you, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, there are people in life who have tried to accuse you. In fact, they have accused you. They have rejected you. They have tried to beat you up. Some people have even tried to put witchcraft on you so that you may die. They are waiting for you to die. And some of them think that you are already dead. But God, brothers and sisters, but God, God has put you above all that witchcraft. Yes, you may be going through a storm. You may not comprehend the things that are happening in your life. Some of you, you wake up in the morning and you wake up with problems. The entire day is filled with problems. Some of you are feeling a lot of neck pains, headaches. When you wake up, you feel these things. You feel like you have been in a battle. Yes, it is true. Some of you have been in a spiritual warfare while you are asleep. It's just because some of you do not have uh, a remembrance. You do not remember what you went through. You do not remember your dreams. But there are battles that you have had to face. But God, God has protected you. Some of you have dreams when things are chasing you. When you are being chased by things. Some of you have dreams when you are falling. When you have no control, you are falling. But God, God has held you up. God has protected you from the hand of the enemy. Brothers and sisters, today's word is a word of encouragement. And it is from the book of Acts chapter 14, verse 19 to 22. I repeat, Acts chapter 14, verse 19 to 22. And it reads, then the Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, and having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing him to be dead. To be dead, however, when the disciples gathered around him, he rose up and went into the city, and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Debe. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, saying, We must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, you must, through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. Do not allow these light afflictions to get in your way, to get in your head, to get in your mind. Do not allow it. You must, it is a must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of God. Heaven is for you. The kingdom of God was made for you. You were never supposed to go to hell. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. So brothers and sisters, do whatever it takes to enter the kingdom of heaven. If your right, right arm causes you to, to sin, cut it off. What am I trying to say? I'm not trying to say that you literally cut off your right hand. What I'm trying to say, if there is an, a behavior, if there is a habit, there is a person who causes you to sin, who causes you, who will cause you to miss heaven, Cut that person off. Cut it off. Have nothing to do with it. Brothers and sisters, the scripture starts from verse 19 and it says, Then the Jews from Antioch and Iconium came there, having persuaded the multitudes. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city. Brothers and sisters, there are people who have come in from different parts of of your state, of your country, and they have gathered. Some of them could be relatives, as I speak. Some of them could be old friends. They have come in from different parts of the country, or of the world, just to destroy your life, just to see that you are put to the ground, just like Paul. 
the Jews from Antioch, Iconium, came there. Notice that these were Jews. These were children of the promise. They came in. And they gathered. Having persuaded the multitudes. They even had time to persuade multitudes. To make them believe a lie. There are people in your life who are persuaded. Other people. Just to put you out. Just to put false statements. Some of them are persuaded the court system. The judges. Some of them are persuaded the marketplace. That you are not good enough. Just to make you suffer. Now the scripture says. They stoned Paul. And dragged him out of the city. Now supposing him to be dead. However. When the disciples gathered around him. He rose up and went into the city. They are witches. Who have done all sorts of enchantments. Glory to God. They are supposing you to be dead. They think that you will die. But you have survived. They are people that have said all sorts of things. That have manipulated reports. At your workplace. These people have done these things. In fact they are doing these things right now as I speak. Some of you are jobless. Because there is somebody who has kept you in that position. You have asked yourself what is wrong with me. Why is it that it's, it has taken me so long to find a job? Some of you, even when you get a job, the moment you get that job, you spend in, the, in that job, how you workplace, a few months, and you leave it, or you are fired. You ask yourself, what is wrong with you? And yet nothing is wrong with you. There is something wrong with the person who's monitoring you. Brothers and sisters, these people stoned Paul and thought he was dead. They left him for dead. Now what does the scripture say? The scripture says, However, when disciples, when the disciples gathered around him, he arose up and went into the city. Brothers and sisters, when children of God, when men and women of God gather around you in prayer, some of you may not see them, or some of them you may see them physically, who will encourage you. When you bring these words of encouragement, you will gain strength. These words that I speak are life and they are spirit. So when you hear them, you are going to gain strength. So whatever you are going through, you will rise up and walk. The enemy may think that you are dead. The enemy may think that you are, you are going to die. But when you hear these words, these words are words of life. I decree and declare that every dead thing in your life may it rise up in the name of Jesus. May whatever the enemy has stolen from you, be recovered in the name of Jesus. You are going to rise up just like Paul rose up. Now, the scripture says, And when they had preached the gospel to that city, they made many disciples. They returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, saying, We must, through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of heaven. You must through many tribulations, enter the kingdom of heaven. This is the end of this gospel. Brothers and sisters, leave your comments. Send me your message. Now until next time, God bless you.